All right. Uh, hi there, guys. Uh, my name is Wilfred, and I'm a senior math tutor. And today I'll be covering 10 questions surrounding algebra and mathematics. Um, a little bit of backstory about myself. I graduated from McMaster with a major in biochemistry and a minor in mathematics. And lastly, if you have any other issues or problems or questions with your homework, tests, or quizzes or assignments uh, regarding chemistry and mathematics, please submit them to one class and we'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to start with the first question. Uh, so the first question reads, uh, what is not a real number? All right, so we have to describe what real numbers are, first of all, okay? And real numbers, uh, the short answer is that the real number is what classifies anything on the real number line, okay? So I'm going to draw a real number line here for you guys. Um, so here's my line. Sorry if it's squiggly, all right? Um, so this is our real number line, and in the middle of it, we have zero. Okay, so within the real number line, there are a lot of different classifications of numbers. There's a lot of different categories. Okay, uh, so the first category we're going to talk about um, is what we call natural numbers. Okay, so we have what we call natural numbers. So the natural numbers are our counting numbers. So these are what one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay. So that is what um, natural numbers are. There are counting numbers, right? So on the number line, they would exist on the right-hand side of zero, and they would be like here, like one, two, three, four, okay? So those are our uh, natural numbers. Okay, so the next number category of numbers that we wanna talk about is called the integers, okay? So integers. And these numbers are like the natural numbers, except that they include the negative realm of the real number line, right? So we could have like negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. So these are our integers, okay? So dot, 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 and so on. And this goes this way too. So if we were to add this onto our number line, we would have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, um, so the next category of numbers is called our rational numbers. And it gets its name because it is a ratio of two different integers. Um, so they could be positive or negative, but they exist as a, ra a rational or a ratio of two numbers. So that could be three over two, that could be negative seven over six. This can be, um, uh, like 101 over 76 or something like that, right? So these are what we call our rational numbers, and they exist in between each of these ticks. So half would be here, right? Uh, three halves would be here. Uh, like negative three halves would be here. Uh, seven over negative seven over two would be here, right? So these are our rational numbers. They are a ratio of two positive or negative integers, okay? So our final class, our category of uh, numbers on the real number line are what we call irrational numbers, okay? And these numbers uh, cannot be described as a ratio of two positive or negative integers. And another description about them is that um, they have a never ending decimal. So that means that the digits past the decimal keep continue on going. So a really popular one is like pi, for example. Another one is root two. Uh, so these are some forms of irrational numbers, right? And they all exist on the number line, right? So we have like pi, which is here, and root two, which is like around here somewhere, right? So this is what we call our real numbers. These encapsulate all the real numbers. So what is not a real number? We need to expand our dimensions of our real number line, okay? And this is a really helpful illustration to examine what is not a real number. So think of more of a Cartesian plane where the, uh, the horizontal axis is what we call the real number line. So I'm gonna say a real number here. And the vertical axis, we're gonna call our imaginary number line, okay? So imaginary numbers, they are defined by one thing and one thing only. 
So we have imaginary number i, okay? So i is the square root of negative one. Now, usually you cannot calculate the square root of negative one. Um, it will just give you, uh, on, if you put it on the calculator, it will be an error, right? But mathematicians have come to classify this number, square root of negative one, as i. So now we have a different realm of numbers. And these imaginary numbers are not real numbers because they are not contained in the real number plane. So we have, for example, i, we can have 2i, we can have uh, half i, right? So these are what we call imaginary numbers. We have negative i, negative 2i here, right? So we can have a combination of comp a real and imaginary numbers, and this is what we call a complex number. So a complex number has both an imaginary component and a real number component. And if you think about it as a coordinate system, they will be existing in each of these quadrants. For example, uh, let's say that we have a comp complex number here. And let's say that this is 3. So this number here, this complex number, will be the real comp component, right? So it will be 3 and i, right? So this is what we call a complex number. And we usually see them uh, as uh, like this. So a complex number can be negative, it can be positive, but it both has a real component plus imaginary component, okay? So going back to the question that was originally proposed, uh, so we're talking about what is not a real number. So we have come to the conclusion that there are two categories of numbers that are not real, imaginary numbers and the complex number. So The junior tutor wrote, real numbers are numbers that can be found on a number line. They include the rational and irrational numbers, the natural and whole numbers, and the integers. Hence, since complex numbers are not found on a number line, we cannot consider complex numbers as real numbers. Therefore, the imaginary number, which is a complex number, is not a real number. So this solution is correct. And for the rest of the lesson, we'll be tackling how to work around these uh, imaginary and complex numbers. Okay? All right, let's move on to question number two. Thank you.